Bad Boris by Robin Bennett Read by Charlie Norfolk For Victor Joseph Bennett Though his mother's pride and joy, Boris was a nervous boy. He'd never go to lonely places, hated people pulling faces, never yelled down corridors or ran about on polished floors. For Boris was a nervous boy, though his mother's pride and joy. People sighed and would agree that B lived life unhappily. In fact, his mummy's little treasure had a life of little pleasure, never watched a moment's television, spent evenings doing long division. But Boris had a cunning plan. For one day, he'd be Superman. He read old books on forgotten arts, looked at stars and studied charts, and by mixing pills and shaving lotion, Boris made a magic potion. And when he drank the filthy brew, Boris's muscles grew and grew. No longer was he Boris Social Zero. He was Boris Superhero. He ran faster than pedestrians, motor cars and some equestrians. And though he knew it wasn't nice, he then started nicking merchandise. He whizzed around the crowded streets, smashing doors and stealing sweets. Whilst shouting out some very rude names, Boris nicked computer games. He chomped through lollies and chocolate bars, swiped baseball caps, toy motor cars. He took some things he really didn't need, I'm sure you would be shocked to read. But the magic brew was not strong enough. The potion suddenly wore off. So Boris crashed, and when he woke, he was faced by angry folk. To cut a long, sad story short, he was carted off to court. There was no mercy, nor any bail. Boris got ten years in jail. The very sad end. <laughs>